All right, Martin Fidel, Field Director of Tennessee with uh, Jobs for Life. I'm here at CCDA 2011 with uh, Dr. Perkins. And Dr. Perkins, uh, could you tell us what your thoughts are uh, on how jobs impact communities? Well, you know, I have to uh, inspire and to encourage this whole Job for Life movement. I think it's absolutely so critical. And I always say that the best welfare system that you could develop would be to help people get a job. And it would give them the maximum of freedom. They're not so behold and they're not, uh, uh, they don't become victims to all of this charity. There are need for creative charity and help. But if you can help people to get a job, You've done something that's going to last, uh, and it's going to give the person a maximum freedom. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. So keep your dignity. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, you have to be careful how we frame dignity and how we frame empowerment, mm -hmm. because uh, you affirm the human dignity. You see, every human being is endowed with dignity. Now there is sin and corruption in society that undermines that dignity. And so what we do, the way that we bring them back is to affirm that they are dignity, they, they have dignity, and that, and, and that they are living beneath that which they already have. Otherwise, it almost sounds like we patronize them, that we're giving them something that we really can't give them. And that's the trap. Mm. That's the trap. They will take what you give them and become victims um, to you. So, but if you help them to get a job, they earn that, uh, it's theirs, uh, they feel better about it, and if they can get a skill to go along with that job, and that they are using that skill to earn their own money, they feel even greater, greater, yeah. And so there's a sense of fulfillment. So what you're doing is, uh, is, uh, is absolutely uh, critical.